Hello guys and welcome back to this. Now today we're ranking every single League One goalkeeper kit. So let's get on with it. Right, so there's nothing really to say about this kit because all it is is just the same as like Arsenal's was this year and Chelsea's and everything, but yeah, I'm going to put it 20th, just outside the relegation zone, because it's, there's nothing special about it, really. So, yeah, let's move on to the next team. So, next up is AFC Wimbledon. Same with Accrington, really. There's nothing, like, which makes it stand out from the rest. It's just literally the same. I don't know if you can see that. It's coming up on blue on the screen, but it's actually purple. Is it really? <sighs> um... Doesn't mix into the club really, um, because like, no Wimbledon, it's always like blue, blue and green. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this nineteenth because their sponsor actually fits in a bit more. So yeah, let's get on to the next team. So moving on to Blackpool now. Um, yeah, it's a really really nice kit. Obviously, with Blackpool being related to the Seaside, you've got a blue kit, but the other ones in orange relating to the logo. Um, they played in the blue kit yesterday at Derby Day, um, the day I'm recording, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's got the Visit Blackpool logo in the middle, like their other kits. So, yeah, I'm going to put it in 11th, so let's move on to the next team. So, we're moving on to Bolton Wanderers. Um, it's a decent... I'm going to put it in all right if it was tier maker, but you have to wait till Tuesday for that. Um, so, I'm going to put it in 17th because... I don't like the sh zigzags on it. it no, it, it doesn't suit me, to be fair. Um, but there's no kit partner on it at all, like Adidas, Nike, Hummel, none of them. So I've got to put it in 17th, so let's move on to the next kit. So now moving on to Bristol Rovers, I'm going to put it in third, because, you know, I like the green and black, um, light green, a bit like Fleetwood's one. We'll probably be a picture on screen there, but, you know... Can't edit this bit out. Um, although they're paying 48 quid for it, a bit overpriced to be fair. But yeah, it's going in third, so let's move on to the next. So now we're moving on to Burton Albion. Obvious honestly, I don't like this kit. Um it doesn't look like a football kit, it looks more like a t-shirt, like which you could buy like Comic Con or somewhere. Um it's going 23rd. Sorry, Burton fans, but I know yeah, I don't I don't like it at all. Um, if you look at it, there'll probably be a picture there. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got to say. So let's move on to the next kit. So now we're moving on to Coventry City. Um, it would be going first, but there's one thing I don't like about it. Um, the sleeves, black and green, doesn't really match. So it's going to go in second because obviously I like it. Um, it's going to be a picture there or there probably. I don't know. Um. So, yeah, it's a really, really nice kit. So, it's going in second. But you'll probably be a bit surprised who's going first. So, yeah, let's move on to the next team. So, now we're moving on to Doncaster Rovers. Um, bit like Coventry, really. But, like, the sponsors don't really match the kit, like, if you think about it. But it's a decent kit as well. But I'm going to put it in fourth because a bit like Coventry, you know, it, it's not suited right. Like, because, like, why don't... Green doesn't match with... Red and white, to be fair. It's like, a bit like... I shouldn't really say anything because, it, you know, it could be spoilers for the next bit. But, yeah, so it's going in fourth. So let's move on to the next team. So now we're moving on to my team, Fleetwood Town. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be biased or anything because like, I don't like being biased, but it's... I, I sort of don't like it, but I'm going to put it a bit lower because you can't buy it in adult sizes. It's only for kids, unlike all the other teams. So... I'm going to drop it down to 8th. I'm going to drop it down to 8th because um, you can't buy it in adult sizes, which is, like, really piss people off because, like, if you want to, like, have a goalkeeper kit, you can't. You have to buy it in child sizes and, like, see if you can grow into it or something. It's, like, a miracle. But, yeah, I'm putting Fleetwood in 8th. I'm, see, I'm not being biased. See? No bias. So, 8th. So, we're moving on to Gillingham now. I'm going to put him in 7th because... It, it's a decent goalkeeper kit. Because, like, when you think goalkeeper kits, it's always green. Or sometimes black and green or something like that. 
But yeah, I can only get it from a side on view, but I don't, I, I need to wait till like Saturday or something to see what the rest of it looks like. Um, so that's the only reason I'm putting it in seventh because I don't know what the rest of it looks like. So let's move on to the next team. So now we're moving on to Ipswich Town. Um, I'm going to put them in second. Obviously, it's a decent kit. It's in grey um, with the Ipswich Town logo there. And it's made by Adidas. So you can't go wrong there. Um, so I'm putting it in second. But I don't want to put it in first because I've already got my mind set on first. So let's move on to the next team. So next up is Lincoln City. Um, they're going in fifth because I absolutely love this kit. But uh, as I said in the last clip, I've already got my heart set on number one, um, which is coming in the next couple of clips. Um, if you look at it, the green and the green is just absolutely great. Like how it goes from a darker green to a lighter green at the bottom. Then the shorts are just dark green. Then it goes on like that. It's an amazing kit, to be fair. Um, well done to Umbro. Was it Umbro? No, Area, who made that kit. It's really really nice kit so let's move on to the next team so just before i started this clip guys i've just realized i made a mistake because barry aren't in the league anymore and i said i was doing 24 teams but there's only 23 teams left so um yeah i've accidentally no um so let's just get on with it um mk dons <sighs> yeah um it's going 22nd because obviously Burton's kit is just shocking. But what is that? The green and white and the MK Don's logo just doesn't fit on it at all. And um, yeah, that's the only reason why it's just a shitty kit. Um, but it's not as low quality as Bolton though. So yeah, let's move on to the next kit. So now we're moving on to Oxford United. Um, obviously, we've got two versions of this kit. We've got... Home replica twice because of like some stupid rule about like you can't have alcohol on a under 18s kit. It's a bit stupid really, but you know, um if you like if you think about it really, why are you allowed like Watford, why are you allowed um Ben logos when you're not allowed alcohol? Might be able to see on my phone. Uh yeah, you can see that one is plain that one's got the other logo on it so um yeah this is going in 20 no this is going in 18 because of the price it's 50 quid for an adult shirt which is a bit yeah so let's move on to the next team right right so i've been going through this in alphabetical order but um yeah these two kits are dead similar that is peterborough and south end um Obviously, they've got the same shirt, like, literally most of these have. Um, but they're dead similar. And all what the South End one has in common with it, it doesn't have in common. It doesn't have a sponsor because it's Paddy Power Save Our Shirt thing. Um, so that's why I'm putting Peterborough in 12th, because I've got a sponsor, and South End in 13th. So let's move on to the next kit. So now we are moving on to Pompey. Um, I'm putting it in 14th. Because I just need to write it down on my phone because I'm. This is actually what I like doing about these videos. Um, uh, after that um, terrible video which I made up the start of the season for table prediction because I didn't, I forgot Wickham in that and I got loads of stick for it. Um, yeah, I'm writing down loads of notes. I don't know if you can see it. I might turn the brightness down on this. Yeah, you might be able to see it, but you can see it from that angle. Um, I'm writing down loads of notes to like see where I'm up to. So, um, Portsmouth are going in 14th, because same with Southend, same with Peterborough, it's practically the same kit, honestly, but, um, <coughs> the sponsor sticks out a bit more on Portsmouth, because, obviously, University of Pompey, and all that, so, yeah, let's move on to the next team. Right, so, Rochdale now, it has to be number one, don't it, because the pink and orange of this kit is just amazing, um, I know I've probably got loads of stick for like, oh, why are you put in Rochdale first when you don't put your team even high enough? Um, it's a nice kit. That's all I've got to say. Um, so it's in first. Totally deserved. They've literally made it the best kit in the league. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Let's move on to Rotherham United. So, Rotherham United now. Um, 
it's an average kit, I've got to say. Um, it's going in ninth place. Um, why well, okay, um, it's a bit weird. Anyway, um, I, I'm just, I, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Why do I sound, uh, I, I'm not even going to. So, yeah, it's a decent kit. I don't like the orange down the sleeves and the orange sponsor. So, that's why it is going in ninth place. So, let's move on to the next team. So, now we are moving on to Shrewsbury Town. Um, I can't find any picture of it online at all. Um, even on the club shop, it don't even say it. So, what do I expect um, from Shrewsbury? You know, just a small club in the League One. Um, anyway. Yeah, so, pretty much. I can't find it anywhere. So, it's going in 10th. Mid-table. Let's move on to the next team. So, now we are moving on to our next club, which is the mighty Sunderland. Oh, wait. I'm, um, that was a bit of a joke, guys. Um, please don't kill me for it. Um, anyway, so we're moving on to Sunderland now. It's just the same as Shrews, but it's just a... Yeah, it's just a all-right kit. Um, so, that's why it's going in 15th. So, let's move on to Tranmere Rovers. So, now we are moving on to Tramway Rovers. Um, it's a blue kit. It's a bit like, yeah, I'm not really keen on it. So, it's going in 21st, just inside the relegation zone. Um, if we were doing this in a league, um, which I might do. I might do, like, um, Hunger Games next next week or something. Yeah. Um, if you want views on my old channel, you might have seen that series. Um, it might live on on this channel for some good ideas in the future. Um, anyway, so it's in 21st. It's Sky Blue. I don't really like it. Um, so let's move on to the next team. So now we are moving on to our final team, Wickham Wanderers. They're going sixth. It's an all right kit, but it's just hovering outside the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit... Because like, I was doing this as you go, but... Yeah, I did some research for for oh yes, this is gonna be the way I'll, I'll do it. Um so yeah. So it's a black kit with red, red a red logo and um yeah, I remember first time seeing this I thought I don't really like it, but the second time when I was watching it on Sky Sports and Ryan also had it on, it was pretty nice to be fair. Um so yeah, af so now let's get on with the outro. So, thanks for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and um, if you're new, turn on notifications and all that stuff. Uh, just clear it out of the way before I get there. Um, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you after the Gillingham match when my next upload. I don't know when they'll upload. Because like, this video took two days to make. Hmm. I don't, honestly, I don't know. Um, so... In that case, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you whenever. This is where this video ends. Q and screen. Bye.